Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today as you understand we will speak about the Unreal Engine but not only about Unreal, no worries, we will speak how to, we can export from the Revit to Unreal and how we can export from 3ds Max to Unreal. As you can see this scene I exported from the uh, 3ds Max, anyway my the blank model was from the Revit. So this is really incredible, if you are interested of that, stay with me and we will speak more about the Unreal. And before we will continue, just one thing, here is my store, you can find the link below this video, go there, get some models, support me and you will get the nice models from me. And by the way, today you also able get this model because I will upload it right now and if you will go now to the my shop, you will find it there. So thank you and let's continue. The first step, you should go to this uh, link to Unreal Engine site and download the data smith. I will leave the link below, you will find it there. The second thing, but I think you already did it, you should have the Unreal Engine. So if you have Unreal Engine and if you did the of point one. And the second thing, you should have Unreal Engine, you will install your data smith, you will get this tab, as you can see, Unreal Studio Beta, this is totally free. And after that, you will create new template, let's do it. Number three, we should create new project, let's do it, new project, and we will choose the blank one, so choose the blank one, here the location, where you will save your project and the name of the project, let's call it test. And let's create it. We now inside in the, our project in Unreal Engine. But before we will continue, make sure you have the import data smith here. If you don't have it, let's go inside to the settings and plugins. And here the under everything you will find Unreal Studio and here the data smith. Make sure all this checkbox is on and if it's not, just do it and restart it. If you don't have this Datasmith data exporter here, you should install it, so you forgot to install it. Okay, with this we finish, let's go back to the our project and now we will import our project. And as I said, now I will export my model from the 3ds Max. How to export from the Revit, I will show you later. So let's go to the uh, 3ds Max, export, export, and here we are, let's call it like the test one. Okay, and we will name like um, um, bathroom two, because I already have the bathroom. So, and here, under the safe as type, you should find the new type of the um, data like Unreal Data Smith. So let's choose it and let's save it. Now we have only one button to set to change the setting. This is visible object or or only se section selection object. So of course I will choose the visible object and I'll say OK. Now this plugin automatically packing the texture, models, everything to the Unreal thing. So it doesn't matter which type of the render you are using, V-Ray or Corona. You will export your material, no worries. So we finish as uh, as you see we have some uh, uh, the problems with some objects but it doesn't matter just skip it and let's go to the our Unreal. Now we should uh, import our model. So uh, let's go to the data smith import and let's find our model. So where is it? Test one and here the bathroom blah blah blah. Let's open and let's all say open. And now uh, Unreal asking us only the one thing where we want to save our models. I will save it right here, it's okay with me. And what we want import uh, to the, this project. Like geometry, materials, texture, of course. Light if you want. I will, uh, uh, let's say, uh, I will import the lights, okay. And cameras. Mm. Why not? I will import the cameras, but I will create my own camera. And of course, the resolution of the light map. If you have the nice PC, you can increase your resolution. If not, just leave it as it is. It's not any difference. Uh, I mean, it's not any difference between uh, a high resolution and like average one. Let's import it and let's wait it.
So here we are, we're inside in our Unreal and our model is also here. But as you see, you see here, the completing shading, so the it's still rendering, but we already can manipulate with our object. Let's switch to per perspective to the, our camera because I get our camera from the uh, 3ds Max. And let's see what's going on here. So lighting now, it's still, uh, still calculating, so we should wait it. I think when it will finish, everything will change. So let's wait. So preview shading is already finished. So let's check what's going on here. So here is our model and here the our plane. We should rotate it because the it's like a lumen. Understand only one phase. So let's rotate it like this, like 180 degree. And let's go back to the, our camera again, perspective, the camera, oh, I'm using camera right now, so this is really bad. So what's going on here, I cannot see, actually. Uh, okay, let's change to the camera view. Now we can see this darkness around, because the camera sitting sits like this. I will put my camera like that. And now I will start the production, not production, let's start the medium, the rendering of our light map, and you will see what we will get. So let's start it. And here you will you will able to see uh, what's going on right now. This is like a, a rendering. Let's wait like a few seconds. So it's done. We have some errors, of course, because I didn't prepare anything. And here this is our model. You can see it right now. So this is from the view from the my camera. This is without my camera. So I'll change to the uh, to the perspective. And of course I can use the my camera. And let's check what's going on here. So the one thing I will delete this one because I no need that. So it was my wrong because this is portal. And you should prepare your drawings too. So this is takes time actually. Anyway, you know how to export and import your model inside the Revit. So this is a good thing I think for you. And now I will show you how you can uh, export, I mean import your model from the, for example, Revit. Let's go to the Revit and here this is our model. And as you know, we can export from the 3D view to, for example, where is it? Export FBX file, right? So we can export our model like, like FBX. Let's go to the data smith, you can find it here, and here the small button, just click on that and you will find here the import fbx. So just import your file like fbx file, and I mean export, and import here like fbx, that's it. So as you see, you can easily export your model and easily import it. But I am highly recommend you export first to the uh, 3ds Max just apply some nice the uh, materials and after that import here and it will be really totally perfect you will be able to do really some amazing things here because as you see this is like a rendering but it's not anyway i hope this is was helpful for you guys uh, this is like overview what can do the data smith actually this is like uh, only the top thing what can the data smith can do uh, the next time, as you already see, we will speak about V-Ray inside the Unreal Engine. I hope it will be more interesting. So thank you guys and see you next time. And don't forget, go to the My Store, check something, go to the My Patreon, the subscribe there. See you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.